Hey guys, and this is finding the domain of functions, but graphically. So suppose we don't have an equation, suppose we just have a picture of the graph, and the question is, what is the domain of the function? Okay, so domain, domain is synonymous with x values. So we basically want to say, okay, what x values does this function cover? And when I say cover, I mean literally cover. So if we look at this graph and domain think, okay, how far left does this function go? How far right does this function go? And are there any holes or spaces in between? So it looks like this function comes from all the way from the left. So it looks like we're coming in hot from negative infinity. And it looks like we're going, we're going, we're good. Oh, we go up, but then we go down. So it looks like there's what we would call a vertical asymptote around x equals negative 7, which means the graph doesn't touch x equals negative 7. So in this function, x will never equal negative 7, okay, but it seems like it continues on its merry way, and it goes all the way right, and it's going to go right forever all the way off to positive infinity. So the domain of this function then, in interval notation, the furthest left it goes, is negative infinity and then it goes up till negative 7 where it kind of hits a little bit of a pothole or asymptote okay and then it picks up again or we're going to union with skip over negative 7 so a curve bracket union a curve bracket with the same number in here that basically means skip over that number so it goes from negative 7 now that we've skipped over, but from there, again, it went on its merry way all the way to the right to positive infinity. So the domain of this function is basically all numbers except for negative 7, and this is how we would represent all numbers except for negative 7 in interval notation. All right, let's see another. All right, now we got a bunch of weird stuff going on, but again, domain, we're looking for x values, and we're just going to scan the function from left to right and see what problems we have. So again, coming in from negative infinity, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, looks like we have another little vertical asymptote thing here at negative 5, so x can't equal negative 5. That looks like that bad, except for there we go, we go, we go from negative 5. Looks like we've carried on. Oh, we've hit another vertical asymptote again. We've hit the other vertical asymptote at x equals 4, so x cannot equal 4. So, so far we negative 5 is out and 4 is out. Okay, but we recover nicely and we go on and we live happily ever after to positive infinity. Okay, so how do we represent this with interval notation? So as far left, we come in from negative infinity. We go until negative 5, where we hit an asymptote. So union with, and then we're going to try to pick up again from negative 5. And from negative 5, we were all cool until positive 4, where again we hit another asymptote. And after we hit the positive 4 asymptote, we then carried on and we went all the way right until positive infinity. So just use as many unions as you can. Every time you use a union, that basically means, hey, we need to take something out of the graph, but then we're going to keep going and we're good. So this would be the interval notation then of this function. All right. Let's see what else we got. All right. What about this function? How do I find the domain, so again the x values, so I scan from left to right. Oh, this guy's a little different though because my function actually stops at x equals 8. So I'm not coming in from negative infinity this time. In fact, my function just doesn't even exist until positive 8. And it looks like it's actually touching there. So this function starts at positive 8, and it's including positive 8, so that gets the square bracket. And as we follow it on to the right, it looks like, oh, there's an arrow there. That means it's going to go all the way to positive infinity, and infinities always get a curved bracket. So the domain of this function is positive 8 to positive infinity, because it looks like, again, this function doesn't even start until positive 8. All right, one more. 
let's see the domain of this semicircle. So this guy, again, is not coming in from negative infinity. The function, again, this function looks like it's starting at negative 8. So the leftmost point is negative 8, and it looks like it's touching. And then we follow, follow, follow. Oh, we're all good, we're all good. Oh, the function looks like it stops. This function is going to stop at negative 2. And it's touching negative 2, so we'll include negative 2, and that'll get the square bracket. So that's it. This function goes as far left as negative 8, and it goes as far right as negative 2, and it includes it, so we get the square bracket. So again, domain, think how far left does my function go? How far right does my function go? And then if there's any problems in the middle of the function, make sure to use those unions and just do not include those particular points. All right. Hope to help. Again, as always, ask questions as needed.